Hi. What's up, y'all? So, I just filmed a tutorial on some holiday makeup that is basically my everyday makeup. Just a little bit fancier. And with a red lip. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. But, um, I figured why not just film another video. I've been wanting to kind of experiment, have like a little thing on my channel where I experiment kind of with different makeup looks. I'm not going anywhere, so I figured why not. So I have this lip color, bam, and I want to use this. I've worn it before with like my everyday face, but I want to kind of actually have like a full makeup look inspired by this and also use it. So let's just get started. I've already got my foundation and everything done. All I did from the past video that I just filmed, um, all that's different is I wiped my lipstick off and wiped off some of my highlighter because I think I want to experiment with that a little bit too. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? I'm just gonna take my Morphe 35 palette. This is like, y'all see this palette. I've used it several times. So we're just gonna jump into this palette and kind of go from there. I already have my lashes on, but let's just pretend that they're not on. Cause once I take them off, I'm not putting them back on. Can you feel me? So first I'm gonna take is just like this little crease brush. Um. Let's go into this guy right here. This is one of my favorite colors from this palette. So pigmented, so pretty. Oh, hi, zoomed in mirror. Okay, I'm gonna apply that right here. Like I said, this is kind of a bit of just me playing with makeup basically and showing you guys. So, yeah. Hopefully it turns out nice. If it doesn't, I mean, I might still post it. Um, I just don't get to play and makeup as much as I like to anymore because I'm always busy working. So tonight I actually have some time to kind of like play. So I'm just kind of going in. And I I don't know why I do this, but you can kind of take it with a grain of salt or use this as well. I always bring my eyeshadows, especially like my transition shades and my crease shadows into my inner part of my corner and kind of connect it to blah, 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 and I connect it to my nose contour you don't have to do that but I do I think it makes it look a little bit more dramatic I'm kind of winging it outward toward my temples like so I'm gonna take just like a smaller little fluffy brush into the same color, okay? And go under the lashes. I'm applying it a bit on the heavier side. Again, I'm not going anywhere, so it can actually be heavy. I'm connecting it to that little piece up there. I don't know why I went with orange with the green lipstick. I don't know why. Okay. So just work with me. I'm taking that orange shade and going back in my crease with this brush since it's a little bit more dense. So I can kind of pack that color on a bit. I'm just going to blow it out a bit. Beans. Let me get my stippling brush. But it does have a little bit of my foundation on it. Just to blend that out a bit. Um, and wipe off any excess fallout. I'm going to go back in with the same brush. I'm going to take this guy right here. And mix it with this guy right here. I'm going to deepen that crease up a bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
if you are a makeup artist or an aspiring makeup artist or a makeup enthusiast, play, okay? Don't take it so seriously. At the end of the day, they don't make hot pink and blue and gold and all these crazy eyeshadows just for no reason. They want you to play, so don't be so crammed into a little box. Just, you know, go to town. I'm going back into that first orange color and really blowing that out a bit more, I think. I can rock with this for a little bit. Next I'm going to take this kind of dense eyeshadow brush and I'm going I'm gonna go um hmm let's go into this gold shade I rarely ever 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 wear gold um makeup so I'm just gonna pat that on my lid This color has some structure to it. It's not just like a powdery shadow. It's like like a creamy shadow, like a thick, thicker, creamier feeling eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna pack that on. Kind of like a cut crease. I don't know if I want to do a cut crease though. So I never do cut creases. I guess I could get away with it today. I'm just packing on a couple layers. at it just yet. I'm gonna take this little baby brush and I'm gonna go into the color right next to it. Next to the gold shade, this one right here. Oh wait, okay wait no. Okay I am gonna do this. I'm gonna put this in the center. Then I think I'm gonna go into my favorite shade, which is this shade right here. It's just like the same texture of that gold shadow. Play that to the center of my lid. I'm gonna go in with, huh. I'm gonna go in with that um, first shade, I meant the shade next to the gold, that little bright color. Put it to my inner corner. NYC liquid liner. Probably the best liquid liner. some wings on here. I have the most control with this liquid liner. I don't know why. Uh, every liquid liner I've used, this one has just been Super nice to me. Okay. Not too mad at it. And I'm going with my beaming blush um, shade by MAC. Is this new highlighter that they came out with? It's so pretty. Highlight my face a bit. Cupid's bow. Don't forget your Cupid's bow. ColourPop 
highlighter from Candy Man right on top and on my cupid's bow and this is ColourPop's Dr. M I'm gonna apply that on my lips now and we'll kind of go from there see where we want to go with it This one is like the thicker, the thickest formula of the, all of them to me that I've tried. What are we thinking about this? I actually kind of like it. Even with the warm eyes, like the gold eyes. Um, but this is basic. Okay, so wh what are we gonna do to make this better? Okay, we're gonna make this, we gotta make this like, you know, unique. Besides the lip color, because that's, that's the easy route. Hmm. This is a bit out there. Don't judge me. Okay. Fate break. I'm going to take a lip wand. Um, just a regular disposable lip wand. Um. I'm, I'm gonna go in that dark, I meant not that dark, but that gold shadow that we used on our lids for this, this kind of cut crease. And I'm gonna give myself some little copper freckles. I don't know if you all will be able to see this. Uh, I'm gonna spray my little applicator. So, spray so it's a little bit damp and grab it from the side maybe it'll show up a bit more pigment you can see those two dots right This is so cute. I'm now gonna take my e.l.f. eyeliner pen. I wonder if it'll make some dots for me. Anyway, I'm gonna go and do some real fill freckles here with this pen. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing no more. Uh, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just pat all of those little dots in. Okay. Um setting spray. How do I feel about this? <laughs> Can't really describe it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yay? Nay? Next time, I will be trying something new, trying something different. So if you want to keep seeing videos like this where I'm just playing in my makeup and coming up with random little looks, like foil eyeshadow freckles <laughs> um, with green lips, then yeah. I'm just going to keep filming them in hopes I come up with something really bomb and like 
super different and unique so i don't know let me know what you guys think about these kind of videos and until next time i will catch you on the flip side